question is how to use paint markers. Um, most paint markers um, come with paint in the barrel and a non-charged empty tip. Um, so when you pick up a paint marker, generally you don't take off the cap and start drawing. Nothing will happen. Um, most paint markers, and I do say most because some are different, which we'll explain, but most paint markers are just like a can of paint and have to be shook and mixed uh, well. Patience is important here. Uh, shake the pen well. And after you have it mixed thoroughly, what you want to do is take this tip, which is like a spring-loaded tip, and pump it gently once. Uh, you'll notice nothing comes out, um, but paint is starting to work the way down the porous tip. Now, again, you need to be patient. You don't want to over-pump it because paint will come flooding out and then you'll have a mess. Uh, this is not a regular marker. This is a paint marker. So, um, again, I'm going to pump it again, and the tip is starting to get covered with yellow, but it's still not come out yet. So I'm going to go one more time and I do have paint um, and now I have paint fully charged in there. This empty porous tip uh, just like a brush without any paint in it is now full of paint. Now, now it's okay to go ahead and write with it and that's pretty much the rule for starting a paint pen. Best thing to do with the paint pen after you're done Put the cap on, make sure you snap it on well, and just leave it stored that way. Uh, when you go to use it again, just understand you have a paintbrush-like tip that will have paint in it, and you need to start working that way. But that's the way to start a paint marker. Some paint markers, um, mostly the kids' paint markers, um, which are not as versatile but still have many great characteristics are already charged with the paint in the tip and you just have to start drawing. Um, but most paint markers on the day, on the market today, especially the oil-based, solvent-based ones, have to be shook and charged in the tip like I just demonstrated.